Right, uh, one of my quite loyal subscribers, he wanted to know how to set, oh look, it started ticking, stop. He wanted to know how you adjust the, um, the speed of which the time goes on one of these clocks. It's quite simple actually, really. You've got your pendulum here, and on your pendulum, it might be a different design. This one's got a little indent with a screw there. Some of them, the pendulum has a, a hole all the way through it, and at the bottom where it comes out the end, there'll be a little screw, and that raises it up and down. However, this one is in the middle, and it does the same. So if you screw it that way, it will pull the pendulum up, and if you screw it the other way, it will let it drop down. Now this works very easily, I'm sure you can understand how this will work. The higher the pendulum is, the faster it will tick, and the faster the time will go. The lower it is down, it's lower down, so it's going to tick slower. Therefore, well I say it's going to swing slower, and therefore um, the time will go slower. Now setting the speed of time on one of these takes many months because you have to set it going make sure it's on beat obviously but I've already covered that before you set it going, you set the time to the time that you that you know it is a reliable time and you have a, rel a reliable time source for example if you've got a watch that you know keeps time very well you set this clock to that watch and then you just keep an eye on it every day and if it's fast You'll have to turn it to lower the pendulum down. Just one turn might be enough. It depends how fast it is. If it's so fast that overnight it's gained 10 minutes, or it might have lost 10 minutes, that's a big difference. So, especially just overnight. So you might do one or two or th even three turns on the little screw to make the pendulum go either way, which pendulum is where you need to go. But if it seems to be keeping time through a couple of days, and then you get, say, maybe two weeks down the line, and you've noticed that you've then gained five minutes or lost five minutes, for example, then you'll only need to do about half a turn, maybe one turn in either direction. But it would take a couple of months. Uh, after a few months, you will get it to be spot on, and you will be keeping time perfectly. But setting one of these... I don't know how they've done it back in the day. I really don't. 